Hi, PC user nerd here, Donna Holloman. This is a continuation of a mail merge we completed last week, and you see by the codes we have here and how we choose our codes from our Excel spreadsheet. And our cell spreadsheet has letters, letterhead, or um, our title heads as salutation, first, middle, last, address, city, state, zip, phone number, etc., etc., etc. And sometimes we can send letters out to say happy birthday letter and maybe put, add a gift card uh, as an attachment. But I forgot to put enclosure because we do have a gift card. So let me type in enclosure. So today we're going to talk about how to create our letterhead. And I'm going to do a plain and simple letterhead, which I normally like to do. But you can also create your own. You can put a picture on the side here with your name, address, phone number, contact information. Or you could just add a little design wherever you want in the circle here. Also, let's see, let's go to insert. Well, first, these lines here, this line, this big ribbon, call it the big ribbon. And you have on top of that ribbon are menus. And we have home, and mostly home talks about text and how we want to design our text. We can insert our picture, like I explained before, on insert. You insert other things as well, like shapes and sizes, whatever you want. It, Word, this is Microsoft Word, and it has a million, it feels like tons of things you can create in just a small Word document. You have developers. Sometimes when I received my first computer, this wasn't here, but you can find also update that that's another discussion but this is normally generally used for advanced um, people who use uh, Microsoft Word but for us little homebodies who like to create just small letters for our church committee or our uh, fans or our meeting or our family friends to type thank you letters and resumes etc 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 this is PC user nerd is for those. And here we have margins, orientation, margins, orientation. You can size it up. That's the page layout. You can also create references if you're typing a, a report for school. Um, mailings, you could do mailings like we did our mail merge. But there's other things you can do like envelopes and labels. And review, we can review our products, um, review things in our document but these other menus are meant for other times but today we're focusing on creating our letterhead so right now I'm doing a letterhead and I'm saying that I am PC user nerd underneath Donna Holloman but I want to change this up this is a little too plain I'm gonna change this up a little bit so I will go to home, and most of the home ribbon seems to be about text. And that's how those designers created that. But I want to change my font. So I'm going to go over here. Normally, generally, you have a default that's here, but you can change that default by clicking the down arrow here. And I like Palisade Scripts. This is at the top because I recently used it, so it, it would come to the top. But if this is not here, it's in alphabetical order, and you can choose from the list below. And look, if there's so many uh, options to choose from as far as font. So, But I like this Palisade script. So let's go with that. And it's a little small since it's in that type of font. So we're going to make that a little bigger. I like to also change the color of the font. And I like blue. Let's make that blue. Let's make Donna, let's say she's italics or underline mm, that's not underline or bold and bolder let's leave it as uh, italics and let's say i want to change that color let's make her green and at the bottom here i can also okay first to get to your there's two there's many choices to get to your um header you can left click, double, it's double click actually. So you point to your header here and then you can left double click quickly. Click, click, 
and it'll open and you can do your adjustments. And the same thing with the footer. You can click here, just go down and point to our footer and we're gonna go our left mouse click, 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 and we're on, on our footer. We're gonna insert a footer. Let's say that I wanna insert a footer design. So here's a footer design. We can choose from these options here or you can say, I wanna choose add a page number. But we're not going to add a page number, so I'm saying current position, or I can do um, whatever format they give me here to put page numbers in. I can choose from there, but we're going to do a design from the footer. And this design I'm going to choose right here, because I like to add my contact information at the bottom. And I do like the little object here, but I don't need a page number, so I can take that out. So we'll double click on that delete that number and this is by Microsoft this is Microsoft Word so I'm just gonna say PC user nerd here with my contact information address city state zip code and I can also add my phone number zip code phone number so if anyone needs to contact me and they say, they can't say, I forgot your number. It's right on the letterhead they're receiving. And there's our letterhead, PC user nerd. And I put the address and everything on the footer. You can also put it on the header. You can also put it under your header and say, address, address, blah, blah, blah. But since I have it on the bottom, I will leave it as we see it here and there we have our letter and we'll start that letters again PC user nerd and we're going to keep going and then edit individual letters and I'm going to say all all the letters and here is my letterhead PC user nerd on each and every page of the letter I sent sending out and I still have my Cynthia, I still have my Bill, and Sharon, and Donna. But we're not going to save this now because we want some more changes. And save. And like I said, always, always save your documents. And that is how to create your letterhead. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe to PC User Nerd at YouTube and also visit PC User Nerd on Facebook.